Why do I say Allah? Which Allah is the greatest? Why do you point to the stone then when you say that? Right? Because that stone was created by Allah. Right? But the whole earth was created by Allah. Exactly, and that, that's all. So I, why don't you point to that rock? <laughs> you need to challenge that bigotry and you need to challenge that ignorance in the Muslim community. Because when you condemn Christians for worshipping the cross, yeah. you're actually condemning Muslims for worshipping the stone carbon. The Lord of Lords, Bunch, and Muhammad Hijab, and Ali Dawah, they're lying to you because they're, and, and your famous poets, because they're condemning something that you do yourself. Being a Muslim, I submit to Allah, right? and whoever who does not submit to Allah, I would not agree with So what they're Can you show me where Allah condemns the veneration of the cross? Every Muslim is compelled to venerate that stone, but not all Christians venerate the cross. Which means that veneration of the cross is less essential to the Christian faith than veneration of the stone is to Islam. So that actually means that you have a more important veneration of the stone than we do of the cross. But what I am trying to say is that veneration of the stone. Okay, we, we do that out of respect and nothing else. We don't believe that it's God or Allah or like we, we don't bow down in front of it or we don't make prayers to it or anything like that. Right? Because obviously we believe in one thing. Yeah. Like, and one more thing. You, you, hundred percent, I can tell you, you, you've done more research on Islam than me. Okay. Yeah. Because obviously you're criticizing something, so you should know what you're doing. Right? This is. This is not one of the pillars of Islam. Yes. And if someone does not do that, he, he would not get excluded from Islam. Right? Say, right? Quran, so so yeah. my, ne my next point, and I really appreciate yeah. the kind way that you're conducting yourself yeah. in this conversation. It's yeah. very nice. So my next point is that your hadith state two contradictory things. What do you, do you know which book of hadith is that? Is that hadith sahih? Uh, you know what sahih means, right? Yes, yeah, sahih means reliable. Yeah. Yeah. So one of them is Umar saying, that this is just a rock, I, I kiss you, but I know you're just That's a rock. Right, Let me finish. Well, uh, the, 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 I know that hadith. Yes. Yes. Right, so I'm not lying about it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you explain is that? It, is it sahih? Yeah. It is. Right, so it's yeah. a sahih hadith. Yeah. So my argument is based on sahih hadith. Right, the, the hadith. Let me, let me no, finish. Hadith. Let me finish. It's something. It's you can come in, but let me finish. So it's a sahih hadith. And Umar says that you can't benefit me and you can't harm me. You're just a rock. I kiss you just because I saw Muhammad kiss you. Yes. Right? I'm not being unfair there, am I? Right. They... But another hadith tells you that this rock, if you venerate it, will take away your sins and will testify on your behalf on judgment day. So that's a saying of Muhammad. So which is right, Muhammad or Umar? Muhammad. Muhammad. So a sahih hadith. Well, well, again, that's, that's the thing. You, you're kind of mixing mixing two things. When, when Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu says that, yeah. what he's trying to mean over there, or trying to imply, obviously I'm not a scholar, I could be wrong, That's but right. I'm just explaining my, yeah, yeah. my research. Your right? Because I, I, in my, well, I wouldn't call it ishtihad, I would call it my opinion. Okay. Right? Ishtihad is, you need to be, uh, you know, educated to a certain level. Okay. 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 You're giving your opinion. I'm not a mufti. Okay, okay. That's, okay. Fine. That's fine. So, when Hazrat Umar said that, he, what he meant was that, what if, Afterward, because that stone has a value, but that stone is not God or Allah. Just like, for example, in the Hindu faith, right? Stones or uh, these uh, idols, they have a certain value. And before before Islam, in the Arab Peninsula, they used to worship idols. They used to store those inside the Kaaba, the black box, right? So. Why he said that was to clarify that even if some Muslim has this small fraction yeah. of going about to, you know, pray to that uh, that uh, Ajay Aswad stone, yeah. or you know, go and like write something on that that okay, this is my wish, please fulfill my wish, yeah. or go and prostrate in front of it yeah. to clarify that there is no God but Allah. This is you're just a stone. Yes, you are just a stone. Okay. But yes. if something has been given. For us Muslims, if Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, even touches this crane over here, right? Yeah. This has a really, really big value, as you said, veneration, right? Because Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, according to a Sahih Hadith, as he himself uh, said, was that a moment or a practicing Muslim from heart, he should, I should be closer to his heart than anything in this world, be it his parents, be it his, his wealth, be it any worldly matter. So if the Prophet, peace be upon him, 
does anything that like is is close to him or he's trying to you know uh, explain it we muslims will always respect that Can I reply? Said, oh, we would not worship it or venerate it in, Can I reply? in a religious way yes. Can I reply? so so the thing is i think you're agreeing with me that muslims that condemn the veneration of the cross are essentially condemning their own practices and they should desist in condemning the veneration of the cross because it's a double standard you can't venerate the stone oh, and then Jesus condemn the christians for venerating the cross how you venerate is indifferent to the again then of it's coming to intention my friend like, but, if, if, if i shake my hands with you, you does it mean you that i'm worshiping you now when you were speaking okay okay speak so now i'm asking you to do this so your your argue is oh but we didn't prostrate all you've done is make that matter worse because you straight in front of the mosque that is the Kaaba. So hold on one second. So hold on one second. I can pray over here right, right now, my friend. No, you have, to, you have to face the Kaaba. No, so it's not. I'm you're facing the Kaaba. Yeah. Yeah. You've interrupted me a couple of times. Okay. 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 Keep interrupting me. I'll stop interrupting you. That'll be that'll be that'll be the point of the matter they're is, do, they're, they're the doing logic very bad now. The, the oh, really? Logic, I haven't seen it yet. With, uh, what, is what the is Muslims that are celebrated yeah, yeah. for condemning yeah, Christians yeah, yeah. and yeah. venerating the cross should desist because they are creating arguments that condemn Islam. Because you're venerating the stone rock. That's the first point. That's the first point. The second point. The second point. Now stop being rude. The second point is that in Islam, right? The literally the rock is said to take away your sin and testify on your behalf. It's given a voice to speak. This my friend, that is, that is not a physical thing. It's not this a physical is, thing. This is, they are talking about the end of time and the judgment. You've interrupted me again. Bro, you've interrupted me again. Stop that. that. No, you're, 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 you're just being rude. Speak about something. You're just being rude. Speak about something. So, so my point to you is, my point to you is, where, and, and my point to every Muslim, yeah? Yeah. you celebrate these poets who condemn Christians as worshippers of the cross. Your, that is your point. Your, your, your poets and your scholars are ignorant of what Christianity teaches. And you can't condemn the practice of Christians without condemning the practice of Muslims. Now, what, what's your thoughts on that? My thought is, uh, okay, as Muslims, right, I, I already explained that the biggest the biggest part of our faith is Tawheed, yeah. the oneness of Allah subhanahu yes. wa ta'ala, yeah. right? which is our biggest contradiction or argument with any other religion that does not believe in Tawheed, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Christianity, right? When we do condemn Christians, yes. it's not like we hate Christians or anything. I love We're not even talking about it, right? We're not talking about it. Yeah. And this condemnation is an academic disagreement, as you would say. Based on ignorance. The ignorance of Muslims. Again, that is your assumption. And the double standard. That is your why, why, accusation. Why do Christians venerate the cross? I could accuse me. I'm like, you're ignorant towards the Hajar Asad. You're dis disrespecting the Kaaba. Wait, wait, you're wait. disrespecting my whole faith. And I start hating you. No, I wouldn't no, no, do no, that. No, 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 no. Yeah. No one's bringing emotion into this. Yeah. You're you are emotion. using the key words that every anti-Islamist uses. No. You are? The, the, the Christophobes in Islam that are bigoted against the Christian faith are telling lies to Muslims about what Christians do. And you need to challenge that bigotry and you need to challenge that ignorance in the Muslim community. Because when you condemn Christians for worshipping the cross, yeah. you're actually condemning Muslims for worshipping the stone Kaaba. Now you mentioned I something. still don't agree to that. Let me, so tell me, yeah, right. you still haven't One second. proved to me Sorry. that these two are the same thing. So tell me, what do Christians do to the cross that, that, is, that is different in essence to what Muslims do to the stone rock in the Kaaba? Again, before obviously, I'll I won't make this too long, right? Because we can always hold our own opinions and live with it, right? But as I said to you, do you do you prostrate in front of the cross? Yeah, you do, right? Okay. What is your intention behind it? What's in your heart when you do that? Like as a Christian, not just you, as yeah. a Christian. And that should be backed up with a source. So, so it's a sign of respect. Is that backed up by a source? Yes, it's a sign of respect. So where is that? Yeah, I'm gonna, if you look in the Old Testament. Let me finish. Well, that's no, hold on one second. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. don't, don't. So you believe in the Old Testament? No, you asked a question. Okay. Allow me to ask. Okay. okay. Right, you asked me for a source. Yeah. The Bible teaches yeah. that the people of Israel, yeah. for instance, mm -hmm. 
They bowed before the king when he was sat on the throne. They bowed before the Ark of the Covenant. Right? So, in the Old Testament, veneration, worship of God, was directed through physical things. You venerate the object, you worship God. In the same way that Muslims bow down to a mosque called the Kaaba House. You don't worship the Kaaba House. You worship God, but you're bowing down to a house. And that's obvious. We literally see you in rings around the Kaaba House. And all Muslims bow in the same direction. Yes. That's, right? that's so, so if it is okay, if it is okay for Muslims to worship God by bowing down to a Kaaba House, then it is completely acceptable for Christians to bow down to a cross in worship of God. They're not worshipping the cross in the way you think of it. They're venerating it. We see that in the Old Testament. The prophets did it. The priests did it in the Old Testament. They venerated the Ark of the Covenant. They venerated the Temple of God. So if, if so, it, that, that's our reason. And then you've also got the fact that the church is commissioned by Christ to bind and to loose things on earth, practices on earth. So the church permits us to venerate the cross, but we can't worship the cross in the sense of, in the way that we would worship God. Okay. Just, just wrapping things up, obviously, uh, I get your point. I get my point. I get, I get what comparison you're using. But as we said, yep. yeah, being, being a follower of the Quran and Sunnah, right? Yeah. I can clearly say that, that as Muslims, our actions have to be Christian clear. If I am prostrating in front of Allah, I, I, why do I say Allah? Means Allah is the greatest. Why do you point to the stone when you say that? Right? Because that stone was created by Allah. Right? But the whole earth was created by Allah. Exactly, and that, that's all. So I, why don't you point to that yeah, rock when you say Allah? I can, I can look at that, that tree and say, SubhanAllah, Allah created that. No, but you just have a specific rock that you point to. That, that has a, an importance, that's why. Hazrat Asad has its own importance. Right? And if you want to discuss the importance, that's a totally different argument. Well, but that right? is part of the argument. It's still part of the argument. Yeah. Because the, I would say that it is shirk. Yeah. I would say that it is shirk. But, okay, if you. I'm, I'm just claiming one of you, right? Who is, who is the bestower? When, if, you are, if you are practically prostrating in front of, be it a cross or a carver house. How, how the government? You see, but this is the point I'm clearly saying is. The action is identical. Yeah. The action's identical, bro. You look at a picture of a Christian prostrating before a cross. I look at a picture of a Muslim prostrating before a harbor. Okay. But yet you say right. when okay. we do it, it's wrong, but okay. when you do it, it's okay. okay. Give me, give me, give you me. You say, hold on one second. You say, when I do it, I'm worshipping God. Okay. I is say there, as a Christian, hold on. I say as a Christian, when I do it, I'm worshipping God. Is there only one cross in the whole world that all Christians bow to five times a day or in, in congregation right now right me. so if I start if I start a prayer right now yeah. again, okay and if whoever Muslims are here and they want to join me yeah. we will all bow down to the same Kaaba as here or if I do that in Indonesia or if I do it in Antarctica or if I do it in Somalia or if I do it wherever in the world and that demonstrates that the cross is less important in my faith then the Kaaba is in yours. Kaaba exactly. Is exactly. Exactly. So you you admit that we have less importance that we ascribe to the cross than you do to the Kaaba because one, not all Christians venerate the cross. There's a whole bunch of Christians that won't. Two, we can venerate any cross in any church. It doesn't have to be one particular cross. I'm just Christian. Which Christian? Just a Christian. I'm follower of Jesus Christ. That's it. Yeah. Which kind of Muslim? Just a Muslim. So, That's my prophet Muhammad. Okay. So, so my point to you is that the Kaaba is actually more important to you than the cross is to us. But still, the problem is the same. Muslim scholars like Zaki and I, and Ahmed Ida, and all of those bunch, and Muhammad Hijab, and Ali Dawah, they're lying to you because they and, and your famous poets, because they're condemning something that you do yourself. And what I find complicated, what, and I want to ask you this, why is it you can't see the contradiction? Why is it you can't see the double standard? You're doing what we're doing for the same reasons that we're doing it, but you condemn us for doing what you do. Explain that one to me, because I just don't get it. Again, as I already said, right, 
We're just going in circles and coming back to the same. Do you admit that perhaps this criticism should be dropped by Muslims? Well, well, I mean, I, I don't have any hatred for Christians. That's not if, the question. If, if, listen, listen, I'm telling this you. This is not about, I don't if accuse they, you of hatred. If they do, if they do something. Muslims drop this criticism of Christianity? Well, again, that's the thing. I, I'm, I, I'm not qualified enough to be that scholar who give I'm this, asking this you to ruling. give your own opinion. I'm not, I'm not holding you as a scholar. Yeah. I'm just asking well, you, do well, you think it well, is fair well, to okay. condemn people for doing what you do? Well, if you ask me, right, being a Muslim, I submit to Allah, yeah. right, and whoever who does not submit to Allah, yeah. I would not agree with So, they are can you show me where Allah condemns the veneration of the cross? It's a generic thing. It is a generic thing. Show me where Allah condemns the veneration of the cross. Christians venerate the cross. Like so Muslims is, venerate the Kaaba. I get so. it. I, I get it. Yeah. So venerating the cross, what's the God that you believe in? We only believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The is, Creator. Is, is, is Jesus the God? We believe in only one God. It's slightly changing the topic. We're talking no, about that. I'm just. I'm gonna group, bring it back. To you. That's yeah. what happened. Um, just, just, yeah, yeah. Do you think the main difference between, or the main reason of criticism why Muslims criticize uh, Christians, yeah. is that Christians venerate the cross? Or is it the God behind so that? So, I'll answer that. You've asked an honest question. No. The reason why Muslims criticize the Christian faith is because they're ignorant of it. And because there is an intellectual level of okay, conceit, so, okay, educate, conceit educate, educate us. amongst Muslims, just, just amongst Muslims who literally do the very thing that they condemn. You venerate objects, we venerate objects, you worshipping God, and I'm answering, no, you are, I'm answering your question, you just don't like the answer. It isn't, Muslims aren't condemning Christians for venerating the cross because of the God we believe in. You, you make your own criticisms about that separately. You're condemning Christians for venerating the cross. Let me finish my answer. You're venerate. You're, you're condemning Christians for venerating the cross because you're conceited and you can't see that you're doing the same thing, and you're ignorant because you don't understand what Christians are doing. According to my perspective, the yeah. biggest reason for the criticism why Muslims criticize Christians would be the belief in the God. But is, they make the difference that, why what what, 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 what Christians take as God and what Muslims take but as God. They Muslims it's not, make it's not about the cross yeah, or the other story. But Muslims make separate the, art. Now hold on bro. The reason why this art, the reason why your argument doesn't work, right? Because remember we're talking about the veneration of the cross versus the veneration of the Kaaba and the Kaaba stone. The reason why your argument doesn't work as a defense of this conceited ignorant position by Muslims is because when it comes to our belief in the Trinity, Muslims have their own separate line of arguments. So if you want to criticize our belief That's in God, one second. Exactly, exactly, which means that his argument doesn't work because it is a separate debate. And I will debate you on your belief in the oneness of Allah and our belief in the Trinity. I'll do it right now. I'm just asking you, what's, what's yeah. the belief in God? What's your belief in God? So, shall we, do you want to bring that conversation to a close? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's your name, bro? My name is Ramis. That was really a lovely yeah. conversation. Thank you so much. Ramis, do you, do you have a Bible? Oh, I, mean, I would like to give you a gift. Yeah. I want to have a nice conversation with I always give him a gift, so thank you. Yeah. I'd like to give you a Bible. Oh, yeah. So this is my gift. Which, which testament is this? This, this is, it, the translation is called the King James. Oh, right. Or English. Which means that, which means Shakespearean that English. Shakespearean English. I like it. So every now and then you might have to Google a word, because it's old-fashioned language. <laughs> and I am sure you're confident <laughs> to do that. Which, okay, there you go. Which chapter would you recommend the uh, I would friend, say that you friends. start in the Gospel of Luke. Oh, uh, sure. And then write down your questions, and if you want to come and talk to me again, that would be lovely to see you. So that's my Thank you so much. So, thank you. Bob. That's my Bob. 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 That's the name of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, let's talk about, let's talk about Islamic arguments against the, the Trinity. Because I would say to you that those ignorance no, no, sorry, no, yeah, those are the people that make those arguments who are ignorant about Christian I'm not criticizing on anything, I'm just wanna, I just want to find yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I will tell you what happened, but our really concept of God is that God is one, but there is not another God. God. But only one God should be worshipped. 
but that one God is identified as Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, in terms of the essence, the thing that makes them God, they are one and the same. But in terms of their person, the thing that makes them a distinct person, they are a Really did you hear there a belief in Jesus? I've heard it. Did you hear me state that I believe in one God? No. Did you hear me state that I believe in one God? So would you agree it would be wrong for someone now to say to me that I believe in one God? Yeah. Can you so you, you, I'll, I'll say again, I believe in one God. I don't, I don't believe in three gods. Okay, that's my belief. If I believe in three gods, I try to get you to believe in three gods. But I don't, I want you to believe in one God. Would it be wrong now for someone to come to me and say, I believe in one God? If it's back up here, it is definitely back up here. Right, so the Quran literally says, I believe in three gods. So do you not distinguish between the Father and the Son? Is that what we call the Father? What I'm not able to understand is that you have to consider Jesus as son. Okay, you can I'm the son of the Father. Jesus in the rest of the Holy Spirit. Three people are not together like hearts. So let me explain by uh science scientific analysis. Bo, 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 what pause? One second.